I've got to work 26 hours a day, seven days a week. So I had this really odd comment the other day. I made a comment on another page where I said, I'm away from home for 93 hours a week. Now, I consider that to be a fair bit. Now, I know people do more. I used to do more myself. If you're away all week in a truck, you're gonna be away for more than 93 hours. If you go away for several weeks at a time, you're definitely gonna be away for more than 93 hours. I have no issue with that. But what I was saying was, I personally am away from home 93 hours a week doing this job. No issue. And then this person comments, I thought a man of your age would understand what it takes to run a business. You work 90 hours a week, double that if you're gonna go out on your own. Now I've got a few issues with this, because firstly, I've run my own business, I've had my own trucks, I know what it takes to run a successful transport business. But as an owner driver, quite frankly, you are not working double the time you work as a company employee. Now let's just address the maths on that. I said 93 hours a week I'm away from home. He said, you're working 90 hours, double it if you wanna be out on your own. Well, that's 180 hours a week. There are only 168 hours in a week. So is this bloke seriously telling me that he works seven and a half days a week? He doesn't sleep, he doesn't eat, he doesn't ever have a moment off. He works solid seven and a half days a week. I don't want to call bull but bull And if you are working every waking moment, let alone every moment, you are not running your business properly. Realistically, what are the extra parts of your time? Now, if you're doing work which is paying well enough to do, and I say this because a lot of owner drivers do work that no one should do because the rate is so ridiculously low that they can't afford to do it. It's actually cheaper to let the truck stand still. Now, if you're gonna do quality work, work that actually pays, then you don't have to be under the truck every, every five minutes. The old adage, if you're not driving it, you're under it, is a load of rubbish. You might get under it to grease it maybe once a week. What's that gonna take you? 20 minutes, half hour? Apart from that, you've got a mechanic to look after your servicing. You've got an accountant to look after the money side of things. You've got an insurance broker to look after the insurance side of thing. The only thing that you're having to do is organise your work. And most owned drivers either contract full-time to a company or a couple of companies, so that's to a minimum, or they're tow operators, which means the work is provided to them. So unless you are a genuine, out on your own, independent contractor chasing work every week, you really don't have much extra. And before you say you've got to work every public holiday, I already do. I work every Christmas, I work every Easter, I work all of them. 